Alrighty folks, welcome back to another episode of Fish in Florida and welcome back to California. I haven't been here in a while, but right now I'm visiting my grandparents. Finally made it. I had to wake up really early at like 4.30 or something. Pretty long day of traveling, but I finally made it. I'm now in Northern California. Hopefully y'all can see the mountains in the background. But yeah, I'm gonna be spending a week here and I have two fishing excursions planned. We're mainly going to be targeting trout. We might catch a few smallmouth. And yeah, hopefully those will be successful and I can get on a few trout. But yeah, that's what I have planned for this trip. Other than that, I'm just gonna be visiting family. And yeah, so see you guys whenever I pick up the camera next. Okay guys, I'm pretty excited right now. We're going to buy a permit for fishing so I can go fishing here. And then after that, we're going to go to a little creek under a bridge, which usually has some trout. And hopefully I can get my first trout in a long time. I've only caught like four trout ever. So this should be pretty exciting. Hopefully I can get one. I'm gonna use live worms probably. And if that doesn't work, I'll probably switch to a rooster tail. And hopefully we'll get some fish then. So see you guys when I get my permit and when we make it to the spot. Okay guys, I made it to the spot, got a live worm on, two little weights, and I'm using my new Sue Guilung reel. I'll leave the link to this again in the description. I actually got a new rod this time. I ordered this a while ago and it finally came. It's the Shimano Solera. It's a pretty cheap rod. It's gonna be my travel rod. It's a two-piece, six-six, medium action. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to use this. Let's take my first cast. Hopefully I'll get a trout. That would be awesome. Oh, hooked up. Dang it. I had one. Shoot, guys, I had a trout. Dang it. Oh, that was a decent one. Oh, I got one. I got a little, a little trout. Is that a trout? Oh, okay, guys, I downsized to a smaller worm. Let's see if this does the trick. Hopefully, I'll get one. I had it. I've had so many bites. I had one. That was probably about a pound, and then I just landed a little guy, and he fell in the rock somewhere and then fell back in the water. So, this time I'm going to be more careful to grab it. Oh, I got one. Let's go. First trout of the day. Little rainbow. Sweet. Okay, guys, first little itty-bitty tiny micro rainbow trout. Just got my hands wet. I'm going to get a quick release so he doesn't die. So, yeah, first little trout. Adios, little micro trout. Oh. Got one. There we go. I think that's a rainbow trout. Pretty sure. Second little micro rainbow. Let's get another quick release. This one's a tiny bit bigger, but still small. The first one I had on was like a pound. I want to get that guy again. See little micro rainbow. Oh, I got one. Oh, another even smaller one. All right, let's get a quick release. Oh, all right. I'm just using a tiny worm just to get a few before I target some bigger ones. So... I'm gonna just get like five or something. But anyway, sorry my hands are dirty. I'm using live worms, which is kind of gross, but it works. All right, guys, yesterday did not go as planned. I only caught a few little tiny micro trout, but today is a big day. I'm going out to a lake with a friend of my grandparents who catches trout all the time. He knows what he's doing. He's caught a ton of trout and big ones too. So I should definitely get a trout today. That's pretty much it. I'll just see you guys at the lake. It should be a really beautiful lake. That's what he said. I think it's called Crater Lake. But anyways, see you guys at the lake. All 
All right guys, yesterday was a decently successful day. I caught some decent trout, they were still pretty small. But anyways, today I'm going to be hiking on this really beautiful trail. Hopefully you guys enjoy this B-roll. And tomorrow I'm going to actually go on another trip to go trout fishing. I think it's gonna be off a boat, so that should be pretty sick. Hopefully I'll get some bigger ones. And yeah, let's just get into this B-roll of my hike. Alright guys, hope you all enjoyed that b-roll. I know my shoes didn't, they're dusty as hell. But anyways, now we're gonna go sledding. So I'm gonna throw on the GoPro and hopefully you enjoy the sledding. Okay guys, sledding did not really work out. There wasn't enough snow to sled. It is the middle of the summer, but anyways, last time we came, it was the middle of summer and there was snow everywhere. The whole mountain was covered in snow. I guess it just didn't snow enough this year. But anyways, that was a little disappointing, but we still had fun. It was really beautiful hiking through that forest. So yeah, anyways, tomorrow I'm going trout fishing again. We're gonna go for some bigger ones. Yesterday we were just trying to get a for sure trout. They're actually kind of hard to catch. But anyways, tomorrow we're going to a different lake. We're gonna be targeting some bigger trout. And yeah, hopefully we get some bigger ones. See y'all tomorrow. Apparently I suck at trout fishing. We fished for probably two or three hours. We didn't get a single bite. We were targeting bigger trout. We were using some pretty big baits, but yeah, we didn't get any bites, which kind of sucked. But anyways, today we're going to an ultra clear water pond. It's a little tiny pond. We might fish a lake too, but today we're gonna be going for bass. We're probably gonna use like spinners or live worms. And I also got a fly rod, so I really wanna try that out. Anyways, let's get to the pond and hopefully get some bass. All right, folks, I made it to the spot. Yeah, I know. Right away, I'm seeing signs of life. There's a bass right there, a bass right here. They're just hanging out in these little shade pockets. I'm going to try to get one on a fly. That would be awesome. If not, I brought some worms and a spinning setup. So hopefully, I should be able to get one on that if I can't get one on a fly. Got him. Let's go. First fish of the day. That's a beautiful, I think this is a pumpkin seed. That is a pretty looking fish. All right guys, first little fish of the day. Beautiful, I think this is a pumpkin seed, but really pretty fish. He's like blue, has some orange and red. That is a beautiful fish. All right, let's get a release. Just look at those colors. It's pretty much ready to go. And there he goes. First fish of the day. Not a bass, but I will take that. Got him. Let's go. Another pumpkin seed. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's such a pretty fish. All right guys, second beautiful little pumpkin seed. I love the colors on these things. Let's get a release. There he goes. All right, I need to get a bass now. Dang, look how clear this water is. There's a bass right there, too. That's what I need. I need that little bassy. Oh, he has it. Hooked up. Let's go, finally. Tiny little bass, but it's a bass. Took me long enough. There's some three pounders in here. There's some decent bass, but they're really pressured, especially in this crystal clear water. But anyways, finally got a little bass to commit. Just a little guy, but I'm glad I finally got a bass. All right, guys. Finally got a little bass, just a tiny little guy, but pretty, oh, and he's off. Oh, hooked up.
Ooh, it's another of these pumpkin seeds. That's a big one. All right, guys, that's like my third pumpkin seed. I've only had one bass, so I want to get another bass. But let's get another release. There he goes. Well, guys, that's going to do it for my trip to California. Most of it was just hanging out with family. But as you all saw, I did get to fish a little bit. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fishing for it.